Hello everyone, welcome to my second Galaxy Basic Advanced Tutorial Series. I'm Mayuki. I will help new players to master this game more quickly through explaining game basic knowledge and essential tips. Okay, enough talk, let's get started. Before the actual content today, there is something important that new players are used to ignore that I need to point out. That's why they usually can't pass the license test or get their ship destroyed. When we were in the home base, firstly open the mall to browse all of the stuffs, and we can click device to see what are they. There's many sub menu here. We can see enhancer, recharger, extended interference, and tactical, etc. All of them, you better look them clearly and carefully, including what kind of device in these sub menu and what kind of effects are they. Once again, all of them. By the way, different colors mean different levels, but the effect is almost the same. This is very, very significant, because as long as you know what kind of effect do they have, you can achieve what kind of objective. For example, this jump class engine, it can make your ship jump to 20 kilometers away, instantly. If you have never seen this item before, there's no way can you pass the mission that it is necessary, because you don't even know its existence. Then you know this is why some people can't pass the license test, it's not because they're stupid or something, but because they don't know some items. And when you don't know the existence of some stuffs, that'll be hard for you to get a correct configuration for your ship. Okay, get clear with this, we'll continue the video. I'm gonna introduce the four factions to you guys. First up is Economic Community of Dawn. Personally, I think ECO style has a feeling of Asian high tech. The interior design of the space station highlights the economic prosperity. The appearance of the ship also carry on this feature, the sense of future technology is stressed through its white and blue color. Speed and agility are on behalf of EZO, who specializes in using blaster. The damage is mainly EM. Short range, high rate of fire, high rate of critical hit, combining with high speed, make them adapt to short range combat. Neo Europa Federation. NEF shows a feeling of European high tech. Their space station has conservative appearance. The black color shows superior shield resistance and their ability to survive. Only when you are alive can you make damage is their belief. Talking about weapon, their missile range and DPS can be adjusted by only changing the ammo. Balanced kinetic and thermal damage ensure that the missile can effectively destroy the enemy at any time. Oracle Lampire it shows a feeling of Middle East Empire with its name and style. Similar to the real world, the design of ancient Egyptian architectures make people aware of their worship of God all the time. Ships gold and white show respect for the gods. In terms of weapon, each ship uses laser. Damage comes with continuous attacking. Of course, damage type is thermal, which can melt enemies' ship's armor, but it takes longer time to do next round attack. Republic of Severus. RS has a strong feeling of Soviet Union in real world. The ship model is bold and without modification. The armor is heavy and the fire is strong. The ships of RS embody the simplest philosophy of war, using as many resources as possible to make the firepower and defense strong. But the weapon, they use real gun with superior range and moderate CD time. It'll be able to do a lot of kinetic energy damage once upon piercing the enemy shield. And I'm showing a picture where it display all four factions' weapon features. You should remember your ship's resistance and attack the enemy that can make more damage to your ship. For example, you're not resistant to thermal damage, you better take laser ship firstly. And next, we're gonna talk about the things about ship customization. When we are in mother base, click the ship hanger to get in the assembly menu. Let's cut it into several parts, and we're gonna learn about them in detail. First up is the ship slot on the left side. If you buy a ship from the store, it'll be packaged in your warehouse. After selecting a blank slot, you can put your ship in from your warehouse and deploy it in the slot. Now you can select anyone to customize your ship. Next, I'm gonna talk about equipment on the top side. At first, super device and tactical component will vary depending on the class of the ship. Both of them decide the ship's role in the battlefield. And I recommend you watch the effect on them before doing your customization. Because only if you read the effect, know what's your ship good at. 
Can you take advantage of your ship at best way? No matter making damage or keeping yourself alive or something else. And these are the four weapon, aka artillery. Auto fire when you lock enemy on, repairer and thruster. All of them can be changed but could be buffed. Above mentioned are all the four weapons and devices that could not be swapped. Next is right side. First is level. There are three T levels, T1, T2, and T3. Tap the pencil, you can change your ship's name. It'll be useful when you have same class ships, but to do different things, such as one for wormhole and another same one for carrying vessel. The lower is ship's information. It seems like nothing important, but it's actually much more important than any other parts. Tap the information button to open our detail panel. There are two sections within the panel. Upper is concerned with license level. There are five license levels and every faction, every type and every T levels need its license. And for example, it gives you 5% more missile damage for each level and you've gotten your license to level 3 and you can get 15% more missile damage in total. And the value will be displayed in the upper section. One thing else is usually connected with weapons which means it directly decides what kind of weapon is the most suitable to this ship. If you want a maximum firepower, you better use this type of weapon. Certainly, you can choose to give up some firepower for your own taste and appearance. But the lower section, ship feature, is connected with ship's role. Ship's position is completely fixed as long as you buy this ship. Next, I'm going to talk about ship position. You can see ship's feature is mostly related to ship position. It decides what kind of role you play in the battlefield. For example, its position is interceptor, and its features are all about warp interference. And this one is command. Its features are all about teammate enhancement. So you can see all of these sections in the screen are important. They are affecting each other, but most of people are always ignore the first four of them. That's why they can't pass license exam. And in this pentagon, you need to know processor and power. Both of them are used to restrict you to use better equipment. And when your commander's level is in level 19, you'll unlock research system, which can increase power and processor limits. And some components will do as well. Tap it again to this panel. DPS is your firepower. What's important is the ship resistance. For short, RES. Let's see my cavalry. Its EM resistance is very low. Kinetic resistance is good. So when I'm in this ship, encounter an enemy, I need a tech ship they equip blaster because they're the biggest threat to me. And next, we're gonna talk about lower sections. Firstly, weapon. There is different rank for weapons, respectively white, green, blue, and purple. We can see a missile launcher here. The only difference between them is rank. And you can see, better launcher needs higher power and higher processor. And that means, if you don't do research, you'll not be able to use higher rank. Why? Because you don't have enough power or processor for better weapon. And when you get used to second galaxy system, you can match your device and weapon to achieve various objectives. But I don't recommend Rookie to do this. Next is device section. There's three slots for every ship. And the third one is locked at the beginning. As long as you pass license level 3, it'll be unlocked. So I suggest you guys to unlock it firstly, or the performance will be greatly reduced. What we usually take is a shield recharger and an energy recharger, and you can open the store to buy devices you want. Final one is component. The number of component slots depend on the size of ship. The bigger the ship, the more slots it has, like one for frigate, two for destroyer, and three for cruiser, and so on. The last component slot is locked. You need to pass level 5 license to unlock it. You can determine components according to your objective. Normally, I use them to increase DPS, but also in a few cases, we can change them for doing some special tasks. It all depends on you. But remember, you should make the most use of super device, components, devices, and even ship feature to reach your goals. And next, I'll explain all of the four buttons at the bottom. Ammo, there's no need to take all your ammo in one launcher. 
sometimes higher rank ammo is not enough for three launchers. What can we do at that time? We can give some of ammo to another two launchers. Then you can launch this kind of ammo with three weapons. And there are only white and green rank ammo in the store. Blue and purple are available in training post. Next is cargo space. Every time you get back to mother base, system will move the stuff in your ship to cargo base. Also, you can do it manually. And there's no worry about losing your stuff when your ship blows up. And next is config. Let's say I'm about taking a license test, and I disarm all my weapons and devices, and change a set of equipment for license test. And when it's over, I want to get my previous config back. I can click config to open up my ship's closet and apply the config I saved before. You see, this is a very convenient system for players to save their configs. And I can tap this to write a name for this config. That means I use it to do wormhole mission. Also, you can delete the config that you don't need anymore. Final one is package. The only use of package is to get your ship packaged, and you can sell it in training post. Notice that all of the equipment in it will be disarmed. Okay, so this is all the tutorial about ship hangar. Next, I will play a video to show you guys what I'm thinking when I customize my ship. Here is a cavalry class ship. It's a destroyer. First of all, I click the detail to find its license bonus is about missile. And I choose missile launcher as my weapon. And now I equip three weapons. But I find there's a big waste of energy right here. So I decide to swap this dual missile launcher to quad missile launcher to improve DPS. Notice it requires much more power than dual type. Sometimes you'll find your power is not enough. It's just 100 or 200 more power required. But it's not enough. So if you browse the store as I said, you must find a thing called auxiliary power core, a component that can increase max power. You'll be able to use your quad launcher with it. And it's not finished, there's still two slots for components. And I choose to use missile damage amplifier and energy recovery augmenter to imply damage and augment energy recovery respectively. So I don't worry my energy is insufficient while in battle. And I have shield recover, and energy recover, and damage enhancer devices. It's still not the end. I can swap my ammo from white rank to purple rank. Max my firepower again. And you'll find, in the beginning, my ATK is lower than 250. Now it's over 300. And if we activate damage enhancer in the battle, it will be over 330. Look at the cruiser's ATK, and look at destroyers. You have destroyer's speed, and you have the cruiser's power, that is insane. This is the final assembly. Last but not least, save this config and name it. You see, I've used everything we've talked before. And I think you must understand the significance of ship assembly now. So this is today's video, hope it helped you. I'm Mayuki and I'll see you next time.